and I would like to announce the first place winner. This is DUT Team One, Anna. Good morning, examiners and everyone. Um, my team member is holding a job prize. So, you, you're not wrong. That's exactly a job prize. So, do you wonder why is a job prize is presented today? Actually, it is a functional rehabilitation for stroke patient with paralyzed hand. And we found, and we found it with some other supplies such as the softball and the peeler when we have actual interview in, in Da Nang. So, they are very simple, primitive, and not met the, the patient's needs. So, we are Annam team, and today we bring you our solution, Rehabilitation Glove. So, this our product used for st stroke pension with uh, paralyzed hand about our stroke pension, about our prime stakeholder. So, because of lot hand motor function, they feel it is very difficult to perform even basic daily tasks, and they often suffer prolonged pain due to the uncontrolled muscle contraction. And uh, the first six months after stroke is the golden period for recovery, and after this time, the rate of permanent paralysis is only about one hundred percent. So. Why we choose this stakeholder? Because we know that stroke caused the most death in the Vietnamese population with 200,000 cases each year. And we conducted a survey in Da Nang and we found that um, the hospitals are often overloaded with the number of rehabilitation patients. And the number of technicians is not enough to support them. And the technicians said to us that uh, on the average, each patient only have about 40 minutes to be supported with all the exercise, include um, head, neck, shoulder, arm, and the leg. So, the, so that the quality of practicing is not high. Besides, uh, the, the support equipment on the market is so very simple. And the most of them are the softball, and you can see it here. And besides the, the COVID-19 pandemic, make them very difficult to perform, uh, to go to the clinic or the hospital for the treatment. So all of them prolong the recovery process and increase the cost of treatment. So what do they need? The stroke pension with hand paralyzed, with paralyzed hand needs to quick recovery, practice more and continuously, especially in the golden periods. And they also want to have a support equipment so that they can practice more at home and uh, reduce time and money. So, after, after knowing the difficulty of the pension, we want to have a solution uh, to help them. So we discussed together to find a solution and we came up with three main designs for the original idea. So it is a hand a wearable device and focusing on the rehabilitation for hand. And this is comfortable for the user and easy to you and help the patient do the exercise correctly. So this is our so this is our product development phases. Version one is mocha prototype. And after version one we we going to we meet to um, meet to tank. She is a um, physical therapist at Denang General Hospital and she advised us that uh, the glove should not cover the hand palm and made out of the sharp fabric. So um, we fixed the. Uh, so we have uh, the version two. The version two is simple prototype. So we continue to get, go to the get feedback from the technical, from the technician and the stakeholders, and see feedback to she complain that uh, our product is so the finger is so is too long and too big. So it makes the pension is not comfortable. So we discuss and brainstorming very many, many times to find the best solution. So we have the final prototype version. And 
Uh, this is uh, our rehabilitation glove. Uh, our product um, includes two parts. This is a, a glove and this is a control box. So the glove made of um, the, the shock actuator made of the silicone are attracted to the patient's hand. And the shock actuator uh, help the patient flag their finger. Yeah, so this shock actuator work on pneumatic airs. And when you press the right on it, it will bring the bending motion to assist the finger, the motion, the finger motion like this. You can see it here. Yeah, the advantage of shock actuator, um, other from the over over other technical solution, is the safety because all the electrical component are isolated from the user so that you, they, they can use it very comfortable and uh, safety. So, what are the advantages of our device? First, it saves 20% time of treatment process from 40 minutes to 28 minutes. Second, the older or elder could operate it independently. And third, it is safe and comfortable to you. And one of the most important phase is getting feedback. After each version, we all take feedback from primary stakeholder and physical therapist to develop and fix our device. After researching and doing a lot of survey, we found that there are two most popular devices, the hand therapy ball and the c 4 help 1.31. Look at the hand therapy ball. It is way less than our device and c 4 help ball. However, it can help the patient to practice and recover at home. About the CFAHEP 1.31, it is much more greater and more expensive and 10 times more expensive than our device. Back to our device, with the same function, more flexible, more, more training, and it has Vietnamese version. We are so confident that our device is the suit by device for stroke patient. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you. Hello. Well, I have a question for this because I really interested in the rehabilitation process. So for the stroke, normally they, they got the damage in the brain and so they will get paralyzed in the other uh, side of the, like the, the, the left hemisphere or the right hemisphere. So they are left or right uh, paralyzed, we call the hemiplegia, right? And for the hemiplegia, they are paralyzed for the whole body. So why do you target only in the hand instead of uh, having the rehabilitation for the whole left or right body because the upper limb and the lower limb are really important because we need to recover the mobility and so and also the movement of the patient it's not just the hand so why do you target to the hand this is the first question the second question is about the rehabilitation process we will see the improvement of the rehabilitation process. So how can you control or recognize the improvement of your device in the patient themselves? So there are two questions. Do you get it? Thank you. So you write and stop Mason had visible there half of their body, but, you know, in the rehabilitation process, the lead is the part that rehabilitation first. And after, and we will focus on the hands because the hand is a body part that needs the longest time to recover. And with their hand, they can, you know, do basic really tasks like open the bottle, Fisting thing up, and mm, if they don't do the rehabilitation on the hand, it 
you know, it will, it's, they will as rich as permanent visible for the whole of the life. It's a short basin life. And for your second question, and, you know, and we, uh, for the fourth question, so why don't create some device that can recover the whole part body? Why is only the hand? Because after interviewing with the physical therapist, we found that hand is the most important in the whole body. Because before you recover anybody, hand must be the first one. When you have the hand recover, uh, they can do the basic belly tap, and then they recover to the neck, the shoulder, and more up down to the left. Uh, yeah, yeah. The hand is the body part that takes the longest time, the hardest effort to recover. So that's why we focus on the hand to have the relation. Uh, and for the quick second question, how will you recognize the improvement of the stroke patient? And you know, after stroke, they, uh, the stroke patient is about their hand. They can do even grab or strike their hand. So with a blow, the blow with the right, this movement. And the stroke patient, they can see their own improvement on their own by, you know, by, with other gloves, they can grab their hand a little bit. And after that, after if, if the muscle improvement better, they can like pick up things, pick things up. Yeah, I, I mean, the, uh, it is not the, the, about the system, right? It is the, the feedback, right? So you get the direct feedback from the patient, right? Not the system automatically recognize the improvement. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I would like to announce the first place winner. This is DUT Team 1, Anna! Please come to the stage to receive your certificate. And now, I would like to invite all the teams from Da Nang University of Science and Technology and Dr. Pham Anduk to the stage to present the certificate. I would like to invite Mr. Cho and Mr. Sheng from Dell Vietnam to join the group photo with Da Nang University of Technology. All right. Congratulations, team. Thank you.